Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to quickly start with uh, Arduino, uh, in this case Arduino Mega and uh, Shield designed by Robotis. Um, so this shield is uh, quite a cheap thing, uh, but I am not sure whether it is available on the market in vast numbers, but uh, anyway, uh, this shield is designed to work with Arduino Mega, Uno, uh, Mini, and probably other mutations of this popular uh, hardware. Mm. One thing to mention is that I got a version of Dynamixel XL430T, which means that it communicates over TDL, not RS485. So those are the three ports that you can use on this board to communicate with, uh, to address your servo. Uh, so this is just a freshly unpacked uh, Dynamics a servo motor. Um, it has default factory ID, which is one. So I didn't update it so far. That's just the beginning of my experiments with this uh, so software and hardware. Um, okay, what we need to just start um, experimenting with um, with this servo is first of all you need to uh, power up your shield with external power supply. As you can see, I have a laboratory power supply which uh, is set to 11.2 volts, which is plenty for. Uh, this guy. Um, you need to remove special jumper which is here. Uh, this jumper uh, allows the shield to get the power from external connector which is the, 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 the recommended way instead of uh, taking current from the Arduino shield which is not sufficient in the real world for the servo. Um, yeah, but before you start uh, mm, uh, with this, uh, you, what you need to do is to download the two libraries. Uh, the very first one is uh, Dynamixel Arduino library. Sorry, Dynamixel 2 Arduino li library version, ver version uh, 045 and also Dynamixel Shield library. Yeah. Okay. And having those two libraries, you can easily pick the example sketch, which I already uploaded here. So this is the sketch uh, causing the servo to um, uh, to change the position using the set goal position uh, method from the library API. Uh, it uses degrees or the uh, or the step number. Yeah? Of course there are also some invocations for debugging which are using the uh, default serial port uh, but I'm not going to demonstrate you because in order to do it as far as I can tell you need to connect uh, here the UART to USB adapt adapter <coughs> and connect it, sorry COVID, uh, and connect it to to the port to the some USB port. Uh, so you cannot use the same plug uh, which you used for uploading your your program. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, quite easy thing. Uh, after uploading your software, you need to change the mode uh, in which the shield operates. So first of all, we have to switches here. One is power switch, this one, and second is UART switch. So as you can see this UART is co currently set to Dynamixel position which means that uh, the UART uh, from Arduino which will be used to uh, communicate with the shield and the Dynamixel servos. Uh, so it has to be in this position. While you are uploading the software, you need to switch to the Arduino position and also you need to power off the, the shield. So basically you need to switch those two switches uh, at once. 
So currently I have the the switch turn it off. Uh, so now I will try to power up the shield. Yeah, and of course reset the Arduino board. And now you can see my uh, Excel 430 is starting to change the the position. Uh, let's take a look shortly at, uh, at the current value that is drawn by the shield. It looks like it's like not that much, not that much without the load around uh, 13 to 16 milliampers. So, of course, it, it will be much much higher when it comes to some some load. Okay, thank you for now. I will upload uh, more and more movies uh, from this uh, uh, regarding the the Dynamixel and Arduino hardware. Uh, so stay in touch and uh, thank you.